Donnie Honey joins us on the Gilly Crane Hotline as uh, tonight uh, Lincoln County gets a big win over Giles County. Uh, Donnie, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, congratulations on the big win on the road. Yeah, it was a big win tonight, Dennis, there's no doubt. Uh, Giles County came in football team. They were they were without their start quarterback. Of course, we weren't too. We all said week one, so maybe that was kind of a wash. But both teams played really hard. The defense struggled. We went up 7 nothing. Then we throw a pick six. <laughs> they tied the game up. That's what it was at halftime. And it stayed that way for a long time. And they, they fumbled a, or marked a punt up around midfield in fourth quarter. We recovered it, went down, and scored. And then kicked off to them. They got the ball, go down, and they fumble. And we get it and drive down six field goals. So it was 17-7. doesn't sound like a real close game, but it was a very close game, just nip and tuck all the way. Yeah, the the uh, the outcome was never I mean was never settled until late and and uh, that's the kind of thing that one mistake uh, can make all the difference in the world. Uh, talk about how your young team, who's playing a lot of kids in different positions, has played pretty mistake free football the last couple of weeks. We well, yeah, we played well against Columbia last week. I think we just kind of ran out of gas there in the fourth quarter. They they had a tremendous amount of speed and they just kind of come back and got us there at the end, but. We do. We're playing a lot of young kids. We're playing a lot of sophomores. We got a freshman quarterback named G that we actually alternate quarterbacks every other play, and uh, he is going to come along and he's going to get better and better. Of course, we've got the kid there as a sophomore quarterback, Jackson Coffin. Started he's he's out with a knee injury. Hopefully, he'll be back next. I think we're losing Donnie in a in a zone there between uh, uh, between Pulaski and uh, Lincoln County. Don Donnie, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, uh, big win tonight for Lincoln County, and uh, I, we talked to Coach uh, Thomas the, uh, the, uh, the earlier in the show. He talked about how well his the, the front line had been playing, his offensive line had been playing. They did. They played very well. We've got uh, I know Blaine Cannon goes. Both ways, he plays offensive and defensive line, and and he really, he really, I'm sure he sleeps through it on Friday night because he's got to be tired mm-hmm. on both ways. We've got a couple other kids to go both ways too. Dylan McDonald, he plays some running back, and plays uh, linebacker on defense too. So it, like I said, we're young. We're going to make young mistakes. That's just, you know, that's just part of it. We're young kids, but uh, hopefully we can continue to get better every week. Uh, yeah, great win tonight for Lincoln County at Giles County, and uh, those two guys, uh, Don Thomas and and uh, the uh, and David O'Connor, and David O'Connor uh, yeah. go back a long way, don't they? Oh, they do. Uh, coach, of course, Coach O'Connor played at Lincoln County, and Don he and Don played on the same Lincoln County team in high school. They were teammates in high school. So that goes, you know, they go back a long way. They're good friends and all, and uh. You know that was that was a big win tonight, a big rivalry game right here beside each other on the down on the state line. We're talking to Donnie Honey. He uh, he writes for PMH Sports as he covers Lincoln County Falcons football uh, on the uh, Friday Night Thunder Radio Network. Dennis Weaver and Eric Keith. Uh, Donnie, so it's Shelbyville up next, and uh, they bounce back and get their first win of the season. Uh, they they are a tough one and two team, so. What does Lincoln have to do next week uh, to to take care of Shelbyville? Well, we've got to protect the ball for one thing, and, and Shelbyville is definitely a good football team. They're probably the best one and two football team in the state. Coach Thompson and I went up and watched them play Oklahoma first game of the year, playing on a Thursday night, and they uh, they just kind of just I don't know they just did not play good ball, not taking anything away from Oklahoma. Oklahoma jumped out to a big lead on them and just held on. But Shelbyville has athletes. One right after another, so they're going to be they're going to be hard for us. We we don't have a whole lot of speed, so we have to just like last week against Columbia, we have to just kind of keep those guys corralled in where they can't get away. <laughs> keep keep them in front of you, right? Exactly. All right, Donnie. Uh, good luck in your uh, in your preparations for uh, Shelbyville next week, and we hope to talk to you next week following the game. Okay. Okay, Dan. There's one thing I, I know you've given us a lot of. Uh, uh, nuggets of knowledge. Uh-oh. I know earlier, earlier said that whoever scores the most points wins, and I have to agree with you. You're, you're that's exactly right. You said whoever scores. Yeah, and and uh, well, th- these are these are pearls of wisdom from Eric. Eric is Eric has been the one 
And uh, Eric has been, uh, you know, he he has been he has really improved the IQ of this show. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, that's why I listen. I mean, that's why I listen. I feel like I get smarter every week. I can't get any dumber, so I, I can't get smaller. All right. Donnie, we'll talk to you again real soon, okay? All right, Dennis. All right, thanks. Oh, pile it on to you, brother.